hi it's future from Soulmate. welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to draft a basic skate block so this is gonna be having just one dot this is more like a template that you will use in drafting many more different styles of skates so let's get started i'll be using a few tools to help me draft this skirt block I'm going to be using an L square ruler, a curved ruler, a straight ruler, an owl, a scissors, a notcher, and a marker in my case. But for you, you have to use a pencil. There are a few measurements that you need to take beforehand to help you with drafting this cat block, which are the waist measurement, the hip measurement, and the hip depth measurement. Hip depth is just the measurement between your waist and your lower hip, which is the fullest part of your hip. Okay. You also need to decide the amount of this thing for drafting your block. I'm going to be using 2 cm for my waist and 2 cm for my hip. These is measurements are the ones that are going to make it possible for us to be able to walk and sit comfortably in our skirt. Okay, so you're going to make a calculation, add your waist and ease and divide that by 4. Then add a 3 cm data allowance to that. For me, I'm getting 27.5 centimeters, which is my new waist measurement. Then we're going to do the same to get the new hip measurement, which is add our hip plus ease and divide that by 4. For me, I've got 33.25 centimeters. Divide your waist measurement here by 2 to get your dart position on the waist of the skirt block. So for my front dart length, I'm going to put 10 centimeters and back dart length will be 13 centimeters. So now let's start with our drafting. To calculate the width of your pattern paper, you need your hip measurement and just add about 10 centimeters to it. This will allow us to have space for our zipper allowance and seam allowances to put all around the block when we finish drafting. To begin our drafting, make sure to leave some space at the top and at the side of your pattern paper okay decide what length you want for your skirt i'm gonna be using 60 centimeters for the skirt length so i'm just gonna square a line here which is 60 centimeters long take your hip measurement which is 13.25 and we're gonna square a line across which is 13.25 that's our hip measurement from the top line here we're gonna mark 21 centimeters down for our hip depth Put a mark and we're gonna put a mark at the end as well that's for our skirt hem okay square a line across from this point square another line across from your skirt hem if you have a square ruler like this it's gonna make your life very easy you just draw a straight line down but if you don't have a square ruler like this, just take your 21 centimeters hip depth and transfer it to all these three lines. Okay. Yeah. So this one here will be our center back line because we're going to start with drawing the skirt back. I'm just going to get my L square ruler here and align it to that point. And then I'm just going to draw a line straight down. Good. Next, we label these three lines so that we avoid confusion. So this first one is the waist line. This is the hip line. And the last one is the hem line. Now take your waist measurement and transfer it to the waist line. For me, it's 27.5 centimeters. Just like that. From there, square a small line across, then measure one centimeter, put a mark. So we went up by one centimeter, okay? This point we just marked is going to help us shape our waistline. Get your curved through and just mark the line up, just like that. Now take your half waist measurement and mark it on your waistline from center back. For me, I'm going to be using 13.75. Right here. Since this is our back pattern, we're going to square a line straight down from here, which is 13 centimeters long. That's our dart length here. Okay. 
our dart is three centimeters so we're gonna divide this by two to get 1.5 on each side of the line okay so mark 1.5 on each side now connect these points to form our dart legs Just like that. Next, we're going to shape our side seam. Go two centimeters up on the hip level and put a mark. Now draw a straight line from our raised point to the hip level line. Measure that line and mark halfway. Square a line which is one centimeter out. This point we just plotted is going to help us shape our side seam. So now you're going to get your curved ruler and make sure you join these three points from here to here and to there. Okay. Just like that. Now our side seam is done. We're not going to change anything for the bottom part of the skirt block. We're just using the same measurement that we use for the hip measurement. We put it straight to the hemline and it just remains like this because this is just a template that we'll be using to make many more styles of skirts. Okay. We're now going to add our zipper allowance onto the skirt block. I'll be using 1.5 centimeters for that. You can use whatever measurement you are comfortable with. I like to add seam allowances to my pattern blocks to make the whole process easier for me when I'm drafting my skirts finally. So for the waistline, I'm going to put one centimeter and for the side seam, I'll put 1.5 centimeter seam allowances. And for my hem allowance, I'll put three centimeters. I'm just gonna extend this line. Now I'm just gonna put a few pins to my pattern to make sure that they don't move whilst I'm cutting them. Our dart is fairly straight here, so there's no need for shaping it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the outer lines of our skirt block. I'm just gonna put a few notches here just to mark just to mark the west dot. I'm also gonna notch the hip line and I'll notch the hem line and I'm also gonna not put a notch to the zipper allowance here. And I'll also put another notch here. This will help us when we are making the pattern for the front. So now you can label your pattern. It's the back skirt block. And I'll put my name to it so that I know that it's mine. Remove your pins. Now we can separate the pattern. First thing you need to remember when you are completing your front skirt block is to take off the 1.5 centimeters the allowance we added to the back because we don't need it on the front pattern. Now that we've done that, we'll transfer our lines to the skirt pattern. Now 
Now what you need to do is to square a straight line down the middle of your dot notches. Measure it from the waistline to mark 10 centimeters. Now from the notches that we made, just draw your dart legs direct to this point. Just like that. So now we have to label this front skirt block. Use a owl to pierce through the point of the dart right here. And do the same with the back part. This will help us when we're transferring the block to the octag. So we have completed drafting our skirt blocks, and the next thing you need to do is just to transfer them onto octag so that they can stay for longer and you won't need to be drafting the skirt blocks over and over again, okay? So if you want to see how I transfer these blocks onto octag, just comment in the comment section below so that I know if you are interested, then I can make another video to show you how you can do it for yourself as well. Thank you.